Hey guys, what's up? It's been a while. I'm here in the hangar. You can see I got another plane in here, another pipistrelle. I'm doing a bit of work on it. Uh, Needs some carbon fiber work on Cal. Uh, the guy is out in the States for the winter, so I'm going to fix it up. And uh, yeah. But anyways, I've been a little busy at the hangar here. Um, kind of wrapping up my survey flying for the year. I got the auto door lock installed. Um, did it myself. Not too bad. So this is a diamond door and you can see the motor here. So now I have a remote. I just click it and the door just opens, unlocks, opens. Yeah, so for the winter I want to get the door open and closed as quick as I can. That's why I put this system in. And I set the height so it only comes up just above where I need to get the plane through the door. Um, I got the photo eyes installed. So it's all good to go for the winter now, hopefully. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to have this space in the winter for heat and doing work on the plane. Uh, as you can see uh, on the description of the video, I've got the Starlink Mini right there. Oh man, so cool. So I have flown it once and it it was so turbulent that I couldn't fly at full speed. So today it's nice and calm. We're going to fly full speed and see what how this does in the Pipistrelle. And I got it mounted up here just with some straps. That's pretty easy to install. Got it wired to my 12 volt setup that I use for my survey equipment. So it's going to a switch up here. So I just turn the switch on and that powers up the Starlink Mini. It seemed to draw about three amps of power. Um, see if you can see in here. That's pretty dark. All right, so I got a bunch of wires in here, but I have this uh, terminal here and that's wired directly into my battery and that's going into a switch up here with a 30 amp 12 volt switch so when I flip that on I power all my survey equipment which is out right now and it'll also power up the Starlink and I did actually buy a different cable I'm gonna install I gotta modify it a little bit because that's how it's set up but So this guy here, this is for the Starlink Mini, it's on Amazon, I'll put the link in the description. Yeah, so this cable here has its own switch on here, so I can actually control, multi-control the power going to the Starlink Mini. I can shut it on and off when I need. But this switch is like close to the terminal connections, so I need to cut the cable, move this. So move the switch so it's closer to here inside the ca inside the cabin, and then I can switch it on and off when I want. So that will be pretty nice. But uh, yeah, for now, I'm gonna test out this Starlink Mini today and see how it does at full speed, full cruise speed. Check, check, check. Hey guys. Let's go flying and test out this Starlink Mini. Message. See how it goes. Yeah. Excited. So I am in a 20 degree bank, and let's test Starlink. So I'm in a constant 20 degree bank, and I'm getting 50 download, 28 upload. 
pretty incredible, guys. I'll do another speed test just for curiosity's sake. 25 degree bank now. Got 128 download. Thirty-three download, about twenty-five degree bank. All right, hey guys. So I forgot to record the landing of that flight, um, but it was a success. Um, I did some level tests as well on the Starlink Mini, and I was getting about fifty to one hundred and forty megabytes download and thirty. 20 to 30 megabytes upload, which is just ridiculous for having internet in a small plane like this. Uh, it's going to be a game changer for me, having that kind of connectivity way up north and at 15,000 feet I can connect and <laughs> FaceTime or do whatever. It's uh, going to be incredible having that capability while I'm flying, but i um, super stoked about that. And just an update on this other Pipistrelle, I'm doing some cowl work on it right now. So I got this piece made and it's just gluing on to the main cowl. Pretty much all of my carbon fiber knowledge comes from Mike Patty's videos. If you guys don't know him, he's the most amazing uh, aviation YouTuber out there. So go check out his videos if you want to learn how to do carbon fiber. Um, yeah, I highly recommend it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for now and I'll talk to you guys again. Peace.